Hey, I'm Brandon Smith, owner and co-founder over here at Classic Autosmith. We specialize in service, consignment sales, and storage of classic and vintage automobiles. Hello, I'm Skip Smith, and I'm with Classic Autosmith. I'm Brandon Smith's father, and as he mentioned, we both store classic cars, sell classic cars, and service classic cars. Behind me is our storage facility. The building that we're in is approximately 25,000 square feet, and we devote approximately 30% of it to consignment sales and 60% of it to storage. Brandon came to me, I guess, about five years ago. It's been about five years ago. Yeah. And uh, said, Dad, I, I, I've got an idea, something I want to try. Why don't you come with you? What you said? Well, Skip and I have been messing with cars together for, I'd say, a little over 20 years. And I've uh, been hanging around with all his friends, and you know, I hear the same thing from each one of them. If I had more room, I would buy more cars. So eventually I said, I'm going to open a building and put all these guys' cars in here. So that's essentially how we got started. Skip just showed you our storage area. Now this is our consignment floor. Now that you've had a chance to look around, let me show you the rest of our facility. Taking a ride down to our service facility, it's located just behind our uh, storage and consignment floor. We opened up to the public about four years ago started servicing outside work. I myself have been working on mine and my father's cars for about 20 years. We finally decided to take everything public. Let me introduce you to my team. My name's Doug Hyde. I work for Skip Smith here and his son Brandon at Classic Auto Smith. I am presently working on a 1958 Corvette Big Break one of 103 that was built and only 40 in this color. It is a 100% uh, automobile. It's a beautiful car. It's exact everything except the two screws I just changed today. How's it going? I'm Josh Wright, 31 years old. Uh, been working on Porsches for about a decade and hot rods for uh, about the same amount of time and uh, back in the hot rod swing here, uh, servicing everything from the old Jeep, uh, the MDs that you see behind us, to uh, Corvettes, Bel Airs, uh, Camaros, Packards. Uh, Pretty much anything uh, that comes in the door of Jaguars, uh, things like that. So, uh, having a lot of fun doing uh, full on restorations, engine builds, uh, interior redesigns, and uh, quite a few fun tests on uh, quite a variety of cars. Heading up the hill to our details lawn, we'll show you around what our, uh, our final finisher can do and what he does with cars when we get done reassembling them. I'd like to introduce you to one, another one of our team members. We're in our details salon, and this is AJ Erson. Hi, very nice to meet you guys. Been working with Classic Autosmith since the beginning of January, and it's a company where I've known Skip and Brandon for the last almost 20 years. I've been doing high-end detailing for them for the past 17 years. I finally transferred and moved all of my equipment and everything else over here, so now we have an in-house detailer. Absolutely. <laughs> Brandon started messing with cars. He and I did a father-son project. Started when, I guess you were about six, weren't you? Oh, six. Yeah. We bought a Jaguar, an XK150 drop in. Um, however, it was not a complete car. It was in boxes. So we traveled to Savannah, bundled it up, brought it back, put it in our garage, and decided to do a father-son project. And that father-son project took about, let's say, six or seven years to, to make a final driving machine. And uh, that's when it all really started for me. You know, I got the passion for cars and learning how things work and taking things apart and putting them back together and it, it really stuck and uh, that's all I like to do and that's all I want to do is play with cars. I drove that car for about 20 years and just decided to finally sell it um, when we acquired another car and actually um, it, it went to Brandon um, after his college education. Come on back and let's uh, we'll show, we'll show you what the, the next project is. keep it stored in a, uh, in a capsule back here and essentially other than doing paint on this car it's pretty much finished it's just a matter of reassembly. It's gonna be our father and son project part two. <laughs> These are our long-term storages we keep them in capsules called car capsules. We uh, deflate them about once a month, take the cars out, exercise them, bring them back in, put them back in the capsule. 
Thank you guys for stopping by today and looking around. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Please come back soon. See you soon, I hope. <laughs>